appeal. Hoople's cat. Meow. Uh, VR to Kyle from Plant Based Outdoors, who in the linked video uh, you can get some of these directly by clicking on his Amazon, not his Amazon link, but uh, an Amazon link. He uses these, he has about six or seven of them, he keeps them with him in his bags and he uses them when he's out and about and what a great idea. And I thought that's a great idea and I've seen stuff like this uh, in stores and I thought eh, it's five dollars, six dollars for basically a piece of card. What's the point? So watched Kyle's video, I, I thought you know what, he has a point. It's actually a useful thing, you know, we don't always carry books around with us for weight reasons and convenience. But these, yeah, you can easily carry stuff like this. And the more knowledge we have of our natural uh, outdoor environment, the uh, better we're able to deal with any emergencies that crop up. Now what I found out, and I don't know this for sure, but in Canada, Amazon.ca, I can't buy these. Uh, I have to get them on an electronic device. When I went to the Amazon, so I went to the Amazon.com site, and I can buy these, uh, but there's very few of them left. So what I'm suspecting is, and I don't know this, but I'm suspecting that if you want hard versions of this, hard copies, and you should always look for hard copies rather than electronic versions of everything, uh, this would be the time to be thinking of buying them. So uh, what I got was Edible Wild Plants, Ontario Wildlife, put these down, get this get more organised then. Eh? Weather. Uh, weather is something I'm definitely going to be getting into and I want to be able to forecast reasonably well. Medicinal. Trees. Trees is very important to me because I'll be living in a tree forest. Ontario birds. Great Lake trees. And wildflowers. A lot of overlap in these but that's why I did it this way because I'm focusing on my area. Great Lake birds. Freshwater fishies. I'm not a fisher person, so it's kind of nice to know what I would be able to catch and eat if I had to. And this as a gift for, sorry, a gift for somebody else, not for as a giveaway. So yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, this is what I got, and thank you Carl for setting me on the path. They have little useful tools in, like the ruler, oops, like the ruler, and tells you what types of fishes you're catching, uh, which would lead me in to be able to decide what, how to prepare them and what I want to do with them, and that's a great thing to do, you know, pretty much, you know, if I catch a fish in the Great Lakes that's not on this list, I'm not going to know what it is. The birds one's pretty good, um, it shows you the ranges in where things are. Um, Ontario is brown, which is there, it shows you where the birds might be, and the different types of bird. And again, this is useful. Um, this would be useful because if you see southern birds in the spring, who don't normally inhabit your area coming up, you can pretty much guess that the climate in your area is warming, or the climate in their area is getting too hot, and vice versa. So over the years, by tracking what wildlife and wild birds that migrate into and out of your area, you can actually figure out climate patterns for your area, so that you may not have thought about. Trees is always a good one. I, I'm really having a hard time identifying trees, uh, but I really, really want to. Obviously, uh, if you're going to eat stuff, just going by this is probably not the smartest move, and Carl clearly said that. And I agree with him. What he said was, use this, pick it, take it home, uh, because you think it is edible, and then check it out. And one of the things I do, I have a few mushroom books. Um, but I decided I agree with people. It's not worth the risk. Unless it's a puffball, which even he, even I can figure out, uh, or chaga, I'm not going to probably be eating mushrooms. All right. Au revoir. Hope you enjoyed this. You have a great day. Thanks for something. Bye. Oops, cat. I just got mail. Um, I'm not going to bore you with it. The uh, video I did, I'm going to add to it. So, kind of great guy. So, these are my last ones that I ordered. I got animal tracks so I can actually look in the snow and look in the, uh, by the,
ponds and stuff and figure out which animals are actually inhabiting my zone of habitation and also which common types of birds and also other kinds of animal sign and symptoms and poop, scat. So that's good stuff. Yeah, so that's going to be very useful to me. Just, and again, as Carl says, carrying these around with you is kind of the way to go because um, you can just pull them out of your bag if you see something interesting and look it up. The other one, so, uh, improvised trapping. I wasn't in a game, improvised trapping. I don't know. I don't know why I bothered. Um, because I have all of this stuff available. But you know what? I think something like this, and again, they have vague animal signs on it as well, like vague tra how to make traps. I think something like this is useful in um, an emergency kit. It weighs almost nothing. So that's where I go. The sky at night. Weather, reading, and astronomy are two skills I do not have. I'm going to get them. Knowing the night sky tells you seasonal, seasonal night sky tells you the approximate time of year. Now this sounds kind of weird, right? But if you can read certain of the stars and you keep and you know where they are exactly in the sky by looking at them, you actually can tell the almost to the day uh, what day it is. And that'll be a useful thing. It's also obviously useful for navigation and it's also kind of fun. So that's where I got that. Uh, Tells you where the Apollo landings were. You can see them. So they did land. And I got two of these. Again, this is going to be a present for one of my friends at the Shire. So again, foraging for wild edibles. Always a useful thing to do. And as Kyle sensibly says, use this to guess what they are take them home and have a good look at them using a bigger book. But yeah, useful. And again, mushrooms, I'm not really sure I'm going to be eating mushrooms. Forage unless they're obvious ones, but plate mushrooms in general are actually edible, but they tend to be um, very tannin, so you have to kind of usually make them small and wash them out. All right, so that's an update to that video I did. As I said, I don't think you can get these for much longer in this format. Au revoir. First people born No bad chat come face yes, me with some Like how me have 22 in a me something Then I feel so forget the next thousand fool First chick I mean a press people born